rotary lights display is underway. It takes hundreds of volunteers and as you heard, three million lights to transform La Crosse's Riverside Park. News 19's Marcus Arsvald gives us a sneak peek at the start of setup and the people making it happen. It takes a team of people to put up the rotary lights. When a group of us got it started 25 years ago, uh, we never would have thought that it would have grown to, to what it is today. Amy Prodzinski wanted to be a part of the process this year. This is a great team building event for us because it gets us all together outside of work to enjoy each other's company. She works in the ultrasound department at Gunderson. Putting up the lights is a refreshing change for her team. <laughs> Before thousands of people come to enjoy the lacrosse holiday tradition, there's still a lot of setup work to do, but Pat says that's part of the magic of the whole process because it brings volunteers together. They keep coming back. I think they believe in the cause and the mission and uh, kind of enjoy the work as well too. But it also brings families together to enjoy the lights. Riverside Park gets an average of 160,000 visitors every year and a lot of those visitors bring a donation for a local food pantry. It, it feels great. I'm going to leave happier than I came here because it feels good to help other people. On November 29th, Rotary Lights opens up, lighting the path to a new season of giving. Reporting for News 19, Marcus Arsvold. When asked about any new features at Rotary Lights this year, Pat Stevens said he didn't want to give away too much, but the day after Thanksgiving when the lights go up, he said that people should keep an eye on the bluffs.